Good morning. We're always having technical difficulties, but we're here, and guess what? It's time. We talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. You know, I said that we would get started each morning, weekday morning anyway, around 10-ish, because the goal is 10. Hey, boo-boo. What's up, Roshan? Look at my lip. My teeth. Uh, we got a lot of juicy shit to talk about today, y'all. Because there's a lot of shit going on today. All I want to say is O to the M to the G. Monroe, hey darling. Get your ass to work. How about that? I got to put some lotion on because y'all know I got these man hands while I'm waiting on little Timmy to come to work. That motherfucker. In his little car. I sent one of them dope things to knock on his door. Perhaps. The, the car door, not, not his door. Listen, y'all, good morning. Like and share this feed. Tell a friend because we get ready to get into some stuff. We got into a little hot water yesterday because we was talking about personal friends and whatnot. <laughs> good morning, Bree. Hey, Boo Boo. Hey, Sandra D. Sweet. What's up? What is that you sending me, Sandra? Is that some dirt? What is that? Listen. I just got to say, y'all, y'all know we got some stuff, right? Y'all know it's a lot going on, and we really, really, really have to get into it. As unfortunate as things may be, we have to do our thing. So, I don't know what's going on. But listen, let me go get Lord Timmy. Let me get Lord Timmy. I don't know where he is this morning, but... I'm not even going to get started without him because I know he got a mouthful for us. <sighs> Let me call little Timmy, y'all. Hang tight. Meanwhile, like, share this feed, and invite people to come in with us. That's because that's what we're about to do. Like and share the feed. Like and share the feed. Telephone, tell a friend. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he said he had to go get a drug deal. He's no good as well, that clown. Ain't doing no drug arrests. He lying like shit. He lying on his 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 ability. Mary Tyler Moore looking bitch. Ah, hey, Keisha. <laughs> so let me tell y'all something funny. Keisha is our um, stage manager and producing and everything when we do these shows. And Keisha is like relentless. Hey, April said, hey, my favorite singer of all time. Keisha is relentless when it comes to this shit because if you tell Keisha uh, five minutes, she is telling you at quarter to five minutes to get the fuck on. So I went a little bit over like um, some seconds Everybody was all up in arms about how much time I was doing between acts and whatnot. So Keisha came to the back and said, if you tell one more Mary Tyler Moore story, I'm going to have you shot. She And then, so she don't cuss. She cuss like a white lady. So she's not gangster or none of that shit. She came in there to the backstage and jumped in my face and said, Mary Tyler Moore, bitch! Listen, it was the highlight of my life. I couldn't stop laughing. I could not contain myself. She is hilarious, but she is the bomb. If you guys ever need somebody to do a, be a showrunner, major convention, conferences, Keisha Merritt is my girl. But call me, because I'm booking her. Hey, everybody, welcome to the party. Like and share this feed going on. Lord Timmy's calling. He's not coming to work today. No, I'm kidding. Where is he? Let me see if I can go get Lord Timmy. He need a ride because his car don't work. His car don't move. I don't know what's happening. Hold on, y'all. Lord Timmy. Lord Timmy got a little stuff going on. So anyway, Keisha Merritt, we got a show Monday, April 22nd, City Winery, D.C., and we're going to be doing it. Hello? What happened, little Timmy? The, the drug dealers got you? No, I'm trying to get on there. I'm trying to get on. 
Oh, okay, you coming to work? Alright. Now. Okay. He's he's coming. Lord Timmy must be stuck in traffic. Hey Maya. Hey Jock Angelo. That's my angry security, y'all. Jock Angelo. That's the original bodyguard. What's up, Jock? Listen, come on, Timmy, because this stuff is so juicy. So juicy. We got to get into it. I can't wait. Come on, Lord Timmy. Come on. That's how you got to talk to him because he's special. All right, y'all. We might have to just get started without Timmy. Anyway, did anybody see the uh, Aretha Franklin documentary? I don't know. Thank you, Keisha, my love. These are my Mary Tyler Moore glasses. <laughs> Good morning, Sonny Simmons. I like that name, Sonny Simmons. I just want to keep saying it, Sonny Simmons. What's up? What's up, DJ Oxygen? Bad boy, DJ. That's the best DJ on earth, y'all. So I see everybody that I'm on this thing but Timmy. Timmy, are you having problems with your phone? You getting in the shower? Get in the shower and take us in there with you. Like and share this feed before you do. Before you get in the shower, like and share this feed, y'all. So I need to say this. Eventually, this whole thing is going to be moved to the Just Jokes USA fan page. And it will not be, we will not be streaming live from my personal page, which is what this is. We're going to uh, move this over to the Just Jokes USA fan page. What are you waiting for, Timmy? I'm here. Like, your thing is not saying it. You need to log out and log back in or something. Okay, wait. No. Hold on. So, anyway, eventually, as I was saying, this is going to be moved to the Just Jokes USA fan page because we can't um, do anything on this page. We need to monetize it. And I need you all to subscribe. Facebook has selected us to do a demonstration uh, trial to get uh, subscribers to follow what mm -hmm. we're doing. And me and little Timmy, I gotta get little Timmy <laughs> some new shoes, y'all. So we need Facebook on our side. We're gonna get him a real police uniform uh. and some shoes and a car that works. More Maroki, what's up? Mark Spence, I see you, boy. What's up, baby? Okay, hey, what's baby? Up, baby? Welcome. How you I'm doing? good, honey. What's up with you? How you? Uh, I had a drug dealer to move. He told me no, so I moved. This city, <laughs> shit, girl. You had to pick up the this whole. This city too dangerous. That nigga said. I said move. He said no. I said okay. I left. Fuck it. Somebody, I'm not for that. They crazy. CD. What's up? What's John up, DJ? What's up, DJ? Call me now, Man, 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 man. You know, you know, that's what he do. He made love to a woman. I'm like, oh my God. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I know he make DJ Look at DJ Stella. <laughs> <laughs> he be confused about where he at. Uh -huh. When she hit that note. Listen, so I was saying, did you see the Aretha Franklin no, documentary? I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. Was it that? Who did was it? Was it like that? Who, uh, yeah, who actually did it? Who actually you produced who it? did it? Okay, what network was it I don't on? Know. What network? I what network? Huh? Um, I okay. just said I didn't see it. I don't know, Timmy. Oh. Let's talk about something else. I can't believe it. Since you yeah, they, that little, it they, they just finished a funeral. <laughs> 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 they just finished a funeral yesterday. <laughs> no. and then he got that they wait for the funeral to finish. Look, <laughs> and the only reason they finished finally is because Nick. <laughs> I know I'm allergic. Yes, I'm allergic to niggas, Timmy. drug dealers, and fentanyl. I'm sorry. I and know. I'm I know. You know how it is. You need to get together. You need to get together. Yes. Yes, God. So you you heard Beyond uh, Queen B came out. I heard. I heard. Last yep. night. What's up? To go What's up, up, Skip? To go with her new. Uh, huh? She got that new uh, documentary about her tour. Everybody was all excited. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Right. That's going to be on Netflix, though. Yeah, so Beyonce is the queen of it. I saw a couple days ago Taylor Swift had some old cryptic shit that she put out, and they was trying to figure out. Everybody was like, 
Is she coming out with a new album? What does it mean? Like, it's this countdown. And nobody really knows what she's doing. I think she was trying to do some Beyonce shit. But Beyonce said, <laughs> snatch the air out of that shit. And came out and dropped some shit last night. Little Timmy, are you frozen? Oh, my God. Little Timmy is frozen, y'all. I don't know why he keeps parking the car. Signal, Timmy. What's wrong with you? He'll be back, y'all. Anyway, Beyonce is, is like that. Hilda Brown. Hi, Hilda Brown. How you doing? Skip, what's up? So, listen. Anyway, little Timmy will be back in a moment. Until he does, though, we're going to just keep kicking it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what Taylor Swift is up to, but I do know that Miss Beyonce is always and forever going to be Queen B. So can't nobody usurp, usurp her or impede her ability to control the goddamn narrative whenever she's ready. She jumps out there. Yeah, we need a fund. Crystal said we need a fund to get little Timmy a phone because he has this same difficulty every single day, doesn't he? Yeah, I don't know what his problem is, but one of these days, let's just pray for him to figure that shit out. Anyway, little Timmy, come on now. Come on back here. He probably got to go out and come back. I don't know if it's him or me, though. Let me see. I think it's him, though. I'm sure it's him. It's not me. I got rings in my eyes. Maybe that's Jesus trying to tell me that shit ain't working out. What's up, Claylicious? Claylicious, Claylicious, Claylicious. Maybe we got to talk to Lil Timmy on the phone. Lil Timmy. Okay, come back, Timmy. Little Timmy in there. Tell Timmy to get off that TV. <laughs> okay. Let me see if we can go get him. He might need a ride again. Oh, I'm trying not to shake the camera, y'all, but I can't help it because this is messy. Y'all know we messy. Don't judge. I think you got to go out and come back, Timmy, because I can't um, come get you. I'm trying, but it's like you don't have... Uh, a thing. You need to move away from the motherfucking dope things and then maybe we can talk. Jesus! Kisha, you supposed to be in the tub. Oh, that was old. Sorry. Anyway, Paulette! What's up, boo-boo? Yeah, Lee, girl. Stop messing with them junkies. That important phone call. All I know is, God, how much lotion you gonna put in your hands? You been putting lotion... God damn, what the hell you put on your hands? You know Pass I got a little gator in me, Timmy. God Damn. I had lipstick on my teeth too. You yeah. know I got a little gator in me. You, you got lotion the, lotion the top of your titty. That's ashy too. Ooh, it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, more lotion that. That's terrible. I think that's that's a little spritz. That's that's you know Baltimore. Voice. You got that Baltimore baby powder in your chest. That's what we do. Take shower with that baby powder in your chest. <laughs> you got you can only get it at Mondoma. Yeah, you only get it at Mondoma. You only get baby powder in your chest. Up to your neck. Powder, cancer. They got that powder turning. Do a bunch of shit. Got a powder turning that going. That baby powder make you invisible. Yeah. Avoid arrest and a, a lot of shit. <laughs> so listen, y'all, like and share this feed as you come in and out. I know you might not be able to stay the whole time, but come back and finish looking. Because me and Timmy will go in and talk about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Times anybody. Yes. Oh, yeah, we know. I got I got <laughs> I got to make a phone call later that I don't want to make. <laughs> I, I th we talked about somebody yesterday that having some legal troubles. And Big he asked Matt. Me, <laughs> yeah, he asked me to call him, and this ain't got fed charges. You think I'm going to call a nigga that's got fed charges, that's a great game locked up by the feds? You, nigga, oh. you not, I'll be calling a nigga. From, I, I, anybody know where any pay phones at? I'm not calling nigga from my from my regular phone that's got fed charges. You crazy? No, you gotta get a burner phone. A burner you phone. Get one of the phones from the wire to call that nigga. Nigga, I ain't calling nigga. We doing smoke signals. I'm not doing that shit with this nigga. I don't, <laughs> you got fed charges? About give me a call, nigga. I'm not calling you. I'm not calling. I'm not involving your shit. I don't want no food stamps, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we not gonna crush uh, you. I'm gonna leave him alone. Mac. 
We uh, just playing, boo. We mean nothing. We mean nothing. I, nigga, I'm not we, playing. I'm not calling you. I'm not playing. You better call him. Shit. For so, what? Timmy, you heard Wendy Williams repossessed the car her husband bought inside, bitch. So apparently he bought her a two hundred thousand dollar. I don't know what the fuck that was. Was it a Lamborghini mm. or something? And anyway, Miss Wendy is tired of playing with this nigga. Miss Wendy done finally stopped whining like a little bitch and fucking herself up, and then yeah. got in. She found solution. She found the side to man up. She the man up. That's she the man up. That man the man. She the man up. <laughs> She done finally yes. manned up. There you supposed to. Hey, is that girl still living in the house? Who still has the house the girl live in? I don't know. Nobody said anything about the house yet, but they definitely got into the side, bitch, and that right. motherfucking car. So they showed a picture of her. I saw a picture of her, um, like, getting out of the car. Right. And, you know, they talked about the amount that the car costs like $215,000. Who the fuck pays $215,000 for a goddamn car? Then, who pays $215,000 for a car for they side bitch that with using their wife's money? Stupid Hold ass. Hold up. You know he, he, he's banned. He's supposed to be banned from the studio right now. I heard he got and fired. And not yet. They bought, they bought the fire. you yeah. fire a motherfucker, you bar him from the workplace. Don't yeah. just fire a motherfucker and get him free reign. If you fire... Yeah. You automatically barred. Anytime I ever fired anybody, they ass was barred too. You come back in, you're going to jail, motherfucker. I'm telling you that right now. You buy, you, don't you walk don't play on that this shit. Floor. Uh uh, don't I don't blame you. I got She's fired from a job. I knew floor. I was. Blame her. Let me tell you something. I knew I got fired from a job when a janitor wouldn't even dump my trash. I was like, man, you gonna dump my trash? That you ain't gonna be here. <laughs> then she gave that motherfucker two days, forty eight hours, nigga. You got two days and two minutes to get the fuck out of here, okay? Damn. Putting him out the house and everything. He got to go. Mm. I I don't know what exactly happened at the job, but I know she she is letting that motherfucker have it. She ain't playing okay. with him. If I was I him, him, I got to do petty shit. I take all her shoe strings, throw all her straps to her shoes. Oh, but you ain't gonna, you put me out. You put me out. I'm doing all types of petty shit. Oh, my, oh my God. You don't understand what I'm to. doing. Oh, my God. Girl, I'm you petty as to. shit. I, I, oh, the shit me I would too. do! Oh, I don't play fair. I pee on me all your clothes. Look, I pee on all your clothes and put the shit in the dryer. Put the shit right back in your closet. You never know. Me like and my husband was beefing one time. I put that okay. nigga out and uh, got a restrainer order, and then I cut up all his. He left, and I cut up all his credit cards and called the credit card people and told them. That he lost his cards, <laughs> so he wouldn't have no money That's to up. buy no place to stay. Fuck that nigga. Yep. <laughs> we was beeping. Wait, wait a minute. Damn, oh, like he nigga, goddamn, hold up. God rest his soul. He not here no more. You a cold bitch, boy. Damn. Oh, he can't. He was oh lord. God damn, the nigga probably, the nigga probably in heaven tomorrow. She still can't let this shit go. <laughs> he in heaven come up. God damn, Jesus, this bitch is still holding on to this. Uh, no, I ain't holding on. I'm over God it. God damn. I'm just talking about it. You got to move, you got to move forward. That nigga done messed you up for life. Crystal said, wait, who, who, Derek, Derek Barnes. What's up, Derek? Derek said the janitor won't even dump your trash, Timmy. He won't. When you get fired, you be like, hey, Mr. Johnson, you're going to dump my trash? For what, nigga? You're going to be here. If you ain't, you're fired, motherfucker. I ain't no. doing nothing for you. Uh, Crystal uh, said Prince gave his second wife the house in a semi-truck, brick by brick. I know that's right. He that's how you do it. The house apart. Now, that is petty. Yeah. That is petty. That sounds like some shit you'll do, Lord Timmy. I think Mar Marvin Gaye, when he had to pay his ex-wife all that money, he made an album with one song or some crazy shit like that. So he had to pay her ass. It was the same song. <laughs> some shit he did, some crazy Marvin Gaye did when he had to pay that woman all that money. He made one song. What? <laughs> yeah, something he did crazy because he had to do an album and she got proceeds from it. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, I'll get your ass. What the hell was that noise? That's the, the people in the basement. I keep in the basement. You kill a puppy. I keep, I keep him in the basement. No, so anyway, Charlemagne. 
Uh, Charlemagne came out talking about the Wendy stuff, right? Yeah. He said, you know, because he used, he, apparently he lived with Wendy and her husband, Kevin. He used to like, work on the show. He worked on the show. Four years. He was on the show. I know he was on the show, yeah. but I didn't know they, he lived with them. Did he sleep with him? Did he sleep with Wendy's husband? No, he didn't say that, nigga. I ain't, I'm not saying that. Nigga. I'm not saying it. He didn't but I'm say saying that. It. He said he, he knows about the abuse and all this shit. And apparently Kevin Hunter, Wendy's husband, was uh, accusing him of something with his side bitch. Not fucking the side bitch, but trying to hook somebody up with the side bitch. He's a petty motherfucker. How you gonna get mad about some petty shit? Because we pay like that. Uh, you, well, you ain't never have a side bitch get a boyfriend? Oh, you be pissed. Fuck you need him for? I thought we had, I thought we was gonna do this. Oh, man, you ever have a side bitch get a boyfriend? Oh, you are pissed off. You are, <laughs> you are gonna act a damn fool. Oh, that is, she got nerve to be cheating on me while I'm cheating on her. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Boy, you have a side bitch. Let your side, let your side man on side with get somebody else. Oh, you are hurt. You calling them up on the phone? Yo ass call. You did you call the husband one time? Yeah, you be calling him up. You be singing song. If it is in love, why do I feel this way? Did you be hurt? <laughs> let your side chick get somebody else. Oh girl, you be like you, you be like you nasty home wrecking bitch. I thought I was all you needed. <laughs> oh, boy, you are stupid. Shit. I don't understand how men get jealous, though. How you get jealous? And, and especially a side bitch, that means you cheating on somebody. I know, but my side bitch got a boyfriend better than me. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, my God. Why would you get? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how bad it was. Shit, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now, I know my wife got a side dude one time, and she got really involved in him. It got so bad, we in the car, he called, she told me be quiet. She got the side dude called. She's like, Shh, don't say nothing. You don't like to hear your voice in the background. <laughs> <laughs> my wife told me be quiet. She was so involved with her side dude, she told me be quiet. <laughs> and I, you know what I did? I was quiet, because yeah. this nigga was big as shit. I ain't say nothing. I you ain't had shit to say. I ain't say nothing. Fuck you. So check this out. Lunell on TMZ went in on Christopher Darden, right? Really? Yes, God. She let him have it. You know she came on here talking to us about how she felt about it, so we knew right. about it. But uh, apparently she was going on TMZ, and Harvey, let me let you hear. Harvey... Hold on, this is a little bullshit commercial. Anyway, we'll we'll let the commercial run. Yeah, that shit sound like one of fucking oxygen mixes. Turn that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harvey was offended by what she had to say. Now, we after you hear it, we'll talk about that part, but Lunell don't miss words. She don't pull no punches. She gives no. zero fucks, okay? And that's one of the things that I love most about her. This right. motherfucking comedy is relentless. You know what I mean? And life is what the fuck it is. And it we is. have to be unapologetic. Oh, okay, yeah. Ain't nobody out here trying to really just, un uh, you know, un yeah. officially offend nobody. So you can't get mad at us. Yes, yes. Pretty big news right now. Um, the electric killer of Lucy Nelson, Eric Cole, being represented now, none other than Christopher Darden. So I wanted to know your thoughts on that. Well, if I may be as presumptuous as to speak for myself and most of the people in my community, we're, we're appalled. You know, this smells like a good old-fashioned Uncle Tom to me. He's worse than an Uncle Tom. He's a Judas. He's a race traitor. He's a flop. He's always been one. Johnny Cochran ain't taught him nothing. And his daughter, I hear, is being harassed Yes. Because of this situation, he wasn't thinking about her when he made that decision. He thought she wouldn't be harassed. She's probably not the only one in the family being harassed. He wasn't thinking about her when he made that decision. He wasn't thinking about her when this came out. Right. You know, there's plenty of other work he could take. Plenty of other work. If he had any gall, if he had any balls, if he had any heart, he soul, he'd say, I decline taking this case, even if it meant walking away. But he ain't got none of that. And that's why he's down there with the other kids. Well, what, what advice do you have for his daughter? Get a new daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, get a new daddy. Hilarious. Get he a new don't daddy. Play, man. No, she don't play. Listen. So, uh, 
Harvey got mad. Check out what Harvey said. He's not entitled so to Harvey, not entitled to yeah, let him get the same white, raggedy public defender that everybody down in my neighborhood gets. Let him get the same one that everybody gets. Well, who's paying you, Christopher Darden? Who's right. paying you? That's the right. question. That's the question. So Harvey gets mad. And he's he's like he's offended for all the att attorneys and public defenders or attorneys. Hey, what's up, Lester? Tell me to go, Lester. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Lester, Lester so don't know. Chris, Chris is saying, I mean, uh, what's his name? Not Chris Darden, Harvey Levin. Harvey is saying that, you know, that old lawyer shit. He's a, you know, Harvey, he's a lawyer, right? Mm. That's part of his thing. I'm a lawyer. But he is saying that public defenders, but everybody knows that in the hood, I, I know exactly what she was saying. Oh, you saying? know, the motherfuckers don't give a fuck when they huh. represent you. They just huh. trying to warehouse you. And then oftentimes they're part of the system. This is an extremely high profile case. Mm. And I get what she's saying. And yes, I agree that everybody is, has, you know, like is entitled to, the the due process and all of that shit, but we don't get it. Don't act like the shit is fair now. Mm -hmm. You know, all of a motherfucking sudden, as many black men and women sitting in jail getting killed by the police and all that shit, and they got these workhouses, and it's supposed, supposed to be presumed innocent until proven mm -hmm. guilty, but it's the opposite. Oh, you know, yeah. you got yeah. people sitting in jail right now for the sole reason that they can't afford to post bail. Mm -hmm. That shit is a systemic design to, you know, just keep this whole debacle that is our justice system going. You know, it's some bullshit. Mm -hmm. They got motherfuckers working in, in work camps and doing years in jail before they even get fucking court dates. Yep, that is the Judges truth. Judges profiting on that bullshit because they got uh, stock in jails and shit like that. So it benefits them to send people to jail. And who are they sending? Us. Let me ask you a question. I'm not surprised Christopher Darden is representing them. He's a, you know, he's been a piece of shit since the old day trial. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. At all. You know what I mean? He's never been he's never been one of us at all. Just because you're yeah. skin just because you're black and on the outside don't mean you're black on the inside. It's true. That's the but truth. The whole, you know, the whole thing about this thing for me is I, I'm surprised not for the reasons that everyone else is. I'm surprised that this motherfucker is willing to take such another high-profile hit because he's going to lose. He don't care. This I mean, he, he no don't care. Case. Christopher Darden don't care. He just wants his name back out there. He can care less. Good, bad, or indifferent. You want your name back out as being a fucking loser? But guess what, though? That's the thing. Guess who will go to Christopher Darden? Whites. Well. You know what I mean? Perhaps. He, he don't care. He's probably doing this on purpose, you know, so he can get, uh, get some white clients. He don't care. What does Christopher mm -hmm. Darden care? We never liked him in the first place. We never liked him, so I don't see why it. it we don't like him. We did so it doesn't not make like a difference him. now. We didn't like him. Huh? Yeah, I guess you got a point. you got a point, but I'm just did. saying, you know. huh? It's sad. So the guy's going to lose. I mean, it's very sad. It's awful. But the boy. So you know, yesterday we heard the guy talking about Wendy's husband having sex with him and eating his doo-doo butt and all of that stuff. <laughs> doo-doo brown. <laughs> doo-doo butt. He yeah. said the motherfucker ate his doo-doo butt and then penetrated him. He said he stuck his dick in and uh, 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 three minutes and that was it. And I was like, now the wife, the so-called wife mm -hmm. was right there in the studio looking and this bitch is like sipping tea. Why he's telling this graphic well, story? She already know. Getting fucked, huh? She probably don't. Look, he out in the open. She don't have a problem with it. You know. She got. I think this. I think it's bullshit. I think this nigga trying to come up. He's a singer. Uh, I now I don't. I'm I don't. Saying that I don't. I think it's true. Ain't bisexual. That's I not think what it's I'm true. saying. He's already been bisexual. It may be true. Honey. No, I don't mean that part. I mean the part about uh, this bitch being his wife. That is not his wife. That's his good Judy. And she's sitting next to this motherfucker sipping tea because both of them going to come up from this. That's what the fuck that is. That's some bullshit. Nikki, you're talking about coming up. This would be a, this would be five minutes of fame for them. This ain't Perhaps. shit. This ain't shit. Let me tell you something. 
No, I ain't gonna be that much. I mean, they probably get a reality show. They probably be in the Housewives of Atlanta or some shit. That's the only thing you get out of that. Nah, I, ain't, I don't know. If that's how you want to come up. I ain't trying to be on the house husbands. I mean, I'm shit. not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about nobody eating my ass with shit in it. But <laughs> that's funny saying, though. That's funny though. In this society, that's the kind of sensationalism that would definitely get motherfuckers' attention, and it did. I've been doing comedy twenty some years. All I gotta do is tell somebody ate my my shitty ass. I ain't done it. Shit, I must be doing it wrong. No, you still figuring out trying to how to take a dick so you can stop sitting in the goddamn car, nigga. I know, nigga. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going on. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I was doing this shit wrong. I should have admitted shit. I, I should have came out the closet the whole time. I should have. What was I thinking about? Shit. Yeah. Because the gays are winning, guys. They are winning. They are winning. They are winning. They are. They are. Look. They, I ain't mad at them. I ain't mad at them, though. But you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do. But I know if, it's a trip. If, if coming to butt is a come up. I ain't know I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. guys, like and share this feed. Tell a friend we here every single day, Monday through Friday, weekday, every weekday, right. and we talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. Feel free to drop a comment and tell us what it is that you'd like to hear us talk about yeah. because we rapping. Oh yeah, because you know, me and Nikki, we know we know a lot about nothing. Seriously, we know a lot about nothing. You tell us, you, know we know a little bit about everything. Oh, my God, we know a little bit about everything and a lot about nothing. And some of it's true and some of it ain't true. Oh, I, oh, I just make shit up. I just make shit up sometimes. I don't care. I make shit up. I make shit Most up. Most people do. I make shit hey, up. Hey, BB Mobley, welcome to the party, girl. Me sitting there. I'm sorry, I, you know. I make, uh, yeah. And then I, I'm just praying for the little boy that got thrown off the fucking uh, balcony at uh, Mall of America. Some black dude decided he just want to go. Ain't nobody, you ain't about that. No. This little black dude, I don't know if he's crazy or whatever, he said he's going to kill somebody that day and threw a little kid 40 stories, 40 feet down off the, oh the, the, the mall of America. Low boys in critical condition. Whose kid was it? Just a random kid. He don't know him. Some random kid that he just said the day he wanted, he wanted to kill somebody that day. He was looking for an adult, so he decided to grab the little kid. What the fuck is wrong with people? I don't know. I don't know. People are fucking crazy, girl. They crazy. Oh my God. They crazy. Damn. So, I guess, what? The little kid so in critical somebody, right now. Somebody, was he white? Was the guy white? Guy black and the kid was white, so you know his ass is done. Uh, so the kid is done. I don't even I don't know want, why. That because I really want to get away from everything being so yeah, racial. I know. Racist. But you know what, though? I want to ask the guy one fucking question. Why couldn't you do my wife? <laughs> it was just there. And your ass is cheap, and she couldn't afford to go to the mall, nigga. Damn, nigga. She was right there. She was right there. She ain't that heavy even. You know how light she is? The poof, right the fuck over. This nigga. Oh, my God. Yeah, but yeah, little kid's in critical, so I'm praying for that little boy bad. He's got brain injuries, of course. Terrible. Yeah. Crystal said, he said, I mean, Tina said, he did it because the ladies at the mall wouldn't give him no play. And it's a good thing. Cause exactly. Bitch overboard. He had to kill that ass. Yeah, oh that's crazy. So they wouldn't give him no play? How much shit is that? You know, you know how many times? I don't, I don't know what's going on with people. You know, I don't know this either. Is, it's fucked up. And, you know, people are doing more and more fucked up shit. Ugh. Crazy, I don't know, y'all. That, that there's a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of mental health out here. A lot of mental health issues out here that we got we haven't addressed. You know what I mean? A lot of mental mm -hmm. health. You know, I told you, Oprah and um, Oprah and Netflix, geez, Prince Harry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, Prince Harry uh -huh. had they've launched a, a mental health initiative. And it's it's the result of the need for a lot of people to get help that's not getting help. And because he's such a high profile person, right? You know, yeah. It's 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 just um, it's sad. It really. But you know what, though, I will say the good thing about mental health now because it don't have the same stigma. So a lot of stars coming up 
coming out talking about their mental health and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a lot of people saying, you know, a lot of people coming out about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie to you. All men tell you, all men tell you one thing. Crazy women got the best sex. Oh, and oh, if you ain't never had a bipolar ass, oh, <laughs> if, you, if you never have a girl that has three personalities, oh, nigga, you never know who you gonna get. <laughs> oh, nigga, I had a girl named Shot that said, "Girl, where's Sharice at? Sharice is a freak. Where's Sharice?" <laughs> Oh, nigga. All I'm going to tell you, crazy ass is the best ass. She's going to take your dick and then stab you in the eye. Oh, pack. girl. Oh, this girl came you in my room. With... With the eye pack. That's okay. My boo love me. Oh, my God. And this girl came in my room a time with some lingerie, a football helmet, and some goddamn uh, garden gloves. Oh, this bitch is crazy. Oh, I love that girl. Girl, what you... Matter of fact, her name is Kareem. Kareem, uh, call me, girl. Call... I still got your helmet. Oh, ain't nothing like them crazy ass. Oh, man. Ain't no man out here gonna tell you. If you had a crazy woman, oh, ain't nothing like crazy ass. Crazy ass will do anything. Put it in my hand, nigga, so I can hear you coming. Oh, I love crazy you ass. Are, Put it in my ear. Put it in my ear so I can hear you coming. Oh, I love crazy ass. <laughs> Boy, I can't stand you, stupid ass. Put it in my eye. I'm gonna see my kids. Oh, I love that shit. One girl told me. I was once girl told me I was putting on a chest and drop them kids off at daycare. I said, Oh, this bitch crazy. This bitch crazy. <laughs> Come and drop my kids off at daycare. I said, Oh, this bitch is crazy. Your chest is daycare. <laughs> <laughs> you are dumb. What's up, Bridget? All right. Nah, welcome to the party. Like and share this feed. Me and little Timmy here every Monday through Friday around 10 ish. Yeah. We're going to have a sad time because, you know, we black. We Black people don't never come to work on time. Nah, but we be no. trying. But we know what? We're going to get off on time, though. Yes, we, we are. Or early. Or early. Early, or early, nigga. Or early. Yep. Uh huh. We're going to get off early. We're not going to get off on time. I don't know what right. the hell you talk about. What kind of uh, overachieving ass shit you doing? Uh huh. It's too early for that shit. Yep. All right, so uh, it's time for us to wrap, little Timmy. Hi, baby. I'm having a good time. April <laughs> 20th. Dale. So Big Dale said we don't be on time. We never on time. We never on time. We you know what? You know, time. Big Dale? Big, big Dale, that's your fault. Your, your expectations too goddamn high. Thinking we're going to be on time. You didn't lower your expectations. You probably ain't got no... <laughs> that's why you ain't probably got nobody in your life. Your expectations too high. <laughs> <laughs> Stop expecting us to be. That's your problem. You expect shit too much. You selfish. You be wanting too much. <laughs> you be wanting too much, Big Dale. It's too much. Look, by the way, I need I need some people to come work with me. I need some production assistants because we can oh. really start shooting some skits, me and Lil Timmy, and yep. we doing we doing some shows and uh, we'll be selling to networks. We'll al- we'll announce that stuff a little later on. But right now, hit me up. Send me some inbox messages. Drop emojis. We looking for comedians, actors, all of that stuff to perform with us in some skits we're going to be shooting. Yeah. So if you if you out there and you're interested, send, send me an inbox right here. And as I said earlier, we're going to move this to my page and Timmy's page for the daily uh, performance because we can't monetize his personal page and we want to get uh, views and likes on the fan page. So while you on here, scoot over to Just Jokes USA and uh, comedian Timmy Hall fan page and Mm -hmm. like and share the page, okay? Like and share the feed, like and share the page. I'm going to drop these links on this when we close. But in the meantime, prepare yourselves for this thing to move over to our fan page. We're going to count down. Okay? And April 20th. April 20th this weekend, myself and this Nikki weekend. will be we will be in Woodbridge, Virginia tearing the stages up. So y'all want to come on out, yeah. man, check us out. We're going to tear the stage up. So I'm going to do and my thing. And then Monday, April 22nd. And then Monday, April 22nd, Monday. we got, yeah, we got uh, M. Lewis and the whole so and Tony Woods. Chris Tom- oh, my numbers, God. Y'all. Yep, y'all, 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 y'all gonna, it's, 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 listen. He he is coming with some new shit, Timmy. Yeah. And when I tell you this boy is getting ready to take off, oh yeah, I'm not even lying. He bad. He told he me bad. stop calling him boy. So this man, this man, this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't call a nigga nothing but the chest out. This nigga, that nigga talked to me the whole time with a sweaty chest. All right, don't nigga again. M. Lewis can't say shit to me unless he got a turtleneck on. 
I'm done with that nigga. That nigga talking about, man, you were really you funny. That, nigga, you were real you funny. That, that nigga, that nigga chest glistening, talking about, man, you hilarious. Man, get away from me with your glistening ass chest. He got Vaseline on this shit trying to I know, but, it, but the nigga so young, he ain't got a lot of chest and he just got a fade. This nigga got one strip. <laughs> Is that you, fool? I'm like, God damn, nigga, laying the strip on your chest? Yes. Look, Crystal said, go live on 420, smoke all day. And hey, let me tell you something about 420. We're going to go find, we're gonna go find some weed heads and yep, go that's live. That's what you do. Let me tell you what you do at 420, you dumb asses. You dumb asses smoke on 420, get pee tested on 421, and fight on 422. You some stupid asses. Mm. <laughs> It's the nature, man. Was it worth uh, it? Big Dale said we're going to have moments with the mouth on Mondays. Every single Monday, we're going to have motivational moments. Some motivational, probably just some moments. Because he might be sticking some uh, comedy in that thing. But either way, we're going to have moments with the mouth right here on this feed. If you if you in need of some motivation on Mondays, after me and little Timmy finish talking, yeah. we're going to bring the yeah, mouth Yeah, but like, like, guess who I saw today, Nikki? Who? Everybody I looked at. <laughs> That's your motivation for the day. <laughs> I can't stand your motherfucking ass. All right, little Timmy. All right, baby. I'm getting the fuck out of here because you All know right. why? It's too early for this shit. Yes, it is, baby. See you. See y'all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, baby. Holla. Okay. So I'm about to wrap this thing up, y'all. And like I said, thank you for stopping by and fucking with me and Timmy because. We ain't doing shit. We just talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. Ain't nothing off limits with me and Timmy or me and anybody. We're going we're gonna, to uh, shoot for 1010 every Monday through Friday to do this feed and uh, just have some fun. So if y'all got some shit y'all want to talk about, drop it. Drop it in the comments. Send me an inbox. Hit me up with an emoji, a GIF, any of that stuff. I like all that shit. And share this feed. Share the feed. Share the feed. So tell a friend. Like and share the feed. We'll be here Monday through Friday, 10, 10 a.m. Talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. Love y'all. I'm getting ready to go because it's too early for this shit. Holla.